Hi everybody. Thanks for checking out my infrared sauna ball. So this is where I sit in my infrared sauna and I talk about spiritual topics so that I can stay on track with my life. <laughs> and so this is sort of a four part, the fourth part in a little bit of a mini series on dealing with adversity. And I personally have been going through like crazy, um, unexpected adversity and specifically, um, that I broke my wrist, right? So the first three topics were assessing and all of that in, in really understanding why and what and da, 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 da. But I thought I would go a little bit further and just talk about the emotional aspects of dealing with something like a severely uh, traumatic injury to your physical body because we can have severe emotional trauma and that is also very devastating and debilitating but when you have physical trauma and you have to like sort of process you know how how to move forward and how to deal with your life in a way that's like you know number one accepting potential limitations or or whatever but also you know processing emotionally that you know you you're not the same so there's a lot to deal with that you know there's a lot of weird emotions that come up and feeling um you know feeling your age feeling your mortality feeling like uh, it, it's so many things and i personally have had to really go deep inside and uh you know acknowledge my limitations now that's not to say that i'm not a hugely powerful healer because my th physical therapist and everybody's like holy cow woman how you get how you making you know this level of progress in such a short amount of time and i'll tell you that it's because of my faith in in a higher power and also my abilities as a healer and we all have those abilities, right? But even though I am able to heal very quickly and very miraculously, and I can help others do that as well, but you still have to come to grips with your limitations in this third dimension because it is heavy. And I'll tell you, it is hard because I hit the ground and boom, right? Exploded my wrist. That was because I'm an avid snowboarder and you know, that's also part of it. It's really acknowledging, okay, I can do something that I love and really take a huge injury from it. And, and so am I going to get back on that snowboard or am I going to just say, forget that. I'm not doing that anymore. Right? So it's all sorts of emotional and physical things that need processing when you're, you know, in a situation like this where it's like, holy cow. And so I guess the message today is that when you have a tragedy or some sort of like adversity that you have to overcome and you have to deal with in your life, whether it's relationships, physical or emotional or anything like that, take the time to process all of it from soup to nuts and all of the emotional stuff that comes up when you have to deal with something like this. Because if you don't process it and really, you know, acknowledge it and come to grips with it and then, and then really accept and heal and move forward, it's going to stay there. It's going to stay in your physical body. It's going to stay in your uh, emotional bodies, your energetic bodies, in your cells of your being, which encompass all of those things. And so it's just really important to heal properly. You have to acknowledge all of those aspects and really let them go process them and let them go there is a reason and it's all about growth and it's all about becoming better more conscious more expanded and more open to unconditional love i mean that's really the bottom line and so i really appreciate everybody tuning in i i mentioned before that i just got accepted into best american psychics which is a huge honor for me they put you through rigorous testing and validation and verification and background checks and all sorts of crazy stuff and what's not crazy it's actually really brilliant 
And so I just got in. So I'm really excited. So please book a reading and I'll give new um, clients big discounts. And I'll also um, give a free one question reading to anybody that subscribes to the channel. Okay. So I'm here to help. I really want to be um, available and of service to humankind. So thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for watching. And... Oh, <laughs>